everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am in Rockover Climbing Centre, a slightly different location in Manchester. I've come up here for work, uh, which is very exciting, and today I'm in Rockover's hub, which is like their comp style room, um, and there's a lot of cool looking climbs behind me. So today I figured I'm going to have a climb in Rockover's hub and take you through some of the problems and share some of the really cool setting here. I was here yesterday setting a psyche problem with Tom Lloyd which was a really cool experience and really made me appreciate just how good the setters here are so I'm pretty excited to hop on some of these climbs and see what they're all about so I'm gonna try and film myself this is gonna be definitely more of a vlog style <laughs> video um, as I don't have Nathan here with me today to film um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And then I think I'm just gonna like work here for the rest of the day, so I'm having a pretty good day, get to work in the climbing centre. So before we get into the climbing part of this video, I wanted to have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare.com. So I worked with Skillshare earlier this year, and I'm really excited to be working with them again to bring you their online learning platform. If you're not already familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives and people who are curious about learning new things where you can go and learn about topics ranging from photography to illustration to watering your house plants. <laughs> I worked with them last year and I found their library of classes on animation and after effects and the whole Adobe suite really useful in helping me to develop my skills in animation for this YouTube channel. Most recently I've been taking Manon Loire's class on animating your illustrations and honestly I get so much creative inspiration from the class project section below the class where people upload examples of work that they've been able to create. So the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So thank you very much for listening to the sponsor of this video, I'm excited to be working with Skillshare again and now let's get into the climbs at Rockover. So I'm just warming up. What's really nice about coming to a different centre is the variety of holds and like different setting styles. I think it's really good to get a little variety every now and again. If you climb at the same place quite often, then uh, maybe you don't get to experience a broad range of holds and different movements. So there's a lot of holds in this room that I'm looking at, which I don't know and I'm not familiar with, I don't know the best place to go on them and stuff like that, so yes, be a cool session I think. So these climbs that I'm warming up on are fairly nice with big moves and nice holds on a fairly steep incline to get me used to the competition room. This third climb, I'll be honest and say, I completely underestimated. I didn't really read the problem from the ground, which was a big mistake, and I thought that this jug here would be a breeze, and I didn't really consider that it's set sideways, so it would really pull me left pretty aggressively. So in my first attempt, I aimed to get a toe on that left hole to keep me attached to the wall, and I end up kind of getting my own leg in the way, if that makes sense, making it really hard to move left with that extended left leg. I think I've potentially found um, a little bit of a project or a mini project in this pink behind me. Uh, it's a V2 to 4 and I kind of popped on thinking that it looked okay, would be quite nice. And it is fairly nice, but kind of spat me off. So I'm going to work that one a little bit more. This kind of long hold in the middle was not quite as good as I was hoping it would be, so give that another go. Again, I probably underestimated the steepness of this wall too. The climb might be a little tamer on flat terrain, but it was a little bit trickier on the steeper section of wall through those pinches. Okay, 
Okay, so as you can see, it's a fairly dynamic move for the knee. Um, you have to hop that foot, don't you? You have to hop that foot as you go for the jog, which um, is a test for me because I don't especially like moving in a coordinated way. <laughs> Okay, so my brain knows what it needs to do. My body's not really following. I tried to be static and uh, didn't work. Hair's gone up. Just how you know I'm serious. I think I need to move in a little bit more of a coordinated fashion to plant that fat. I'm gonna go give it a go again. This blue climb I really enjoyed because it features this really high left heel and I do like a heel and you really crank over that heel to gain those next slopers. This orange problem is similar in a sense because it has another high heel movement but this time on a right foot into some quite sustained pinching and a committing last move at the top because I wasn't too familiar with this top hold. It looked kind of like a jerk as I was coming up from underneath it but sometimes you go for jokes like that and they're not quite as deep as you're expecting so I was a little bit hesitant but it was really nice at the top so uh, sank nicely into that. Hello. So this green V3 to 5 
When I first looked at it, I thought it looked super intimidating. I do often struggle with climbs that don't feel too secure, so maybe they're on slopers or a little bit off balance in a corner because I imagine that I'm gonna get wedged into the wall if I fall off and hurt myself. But this climb was actually really nice. It required another quite flexible move to get that right toe up and then a little bit of a precarious top gave it just the right amount of spice and really enjoyed this climb. So I hope you enjoyed those climbs from Rockover, I definitely did. Like I said in the video, it's really nice to spice up your climbing experience every now and again and I really enjoyed the setting over at Rockover and just like a chill climb. I actually do have a fair few more boulders to share from Rockover but I'm actually headed back on Monday morning to film for work so I think I will try and get in a little bit of a climb beforehand and try and film a few more boulders and make that into a video in its own right so watch out for a part two from Rockover and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!